Just a quick word to Donald Trump about his plan to melt the Arctic. Are you doing this stuff for Russia, too? Because I don't know what's going on between you and Russia, sir. Okay? And I don't think anyone else knows either. Partly because it's really complicated, this, you know, kind of intrigue, you know, did you call somebody, did anybody call you, did they hack for you? And partly because it's complicated, probably because you're really boring spies. <laughs> so I'm going to liven it up right now by explaining the situation with more exciting spies, the Tom Clancy novels. You see, <laughs> the commander-in-chief is reaching the breaking point <laughs> because Trump's administration is under fire for a possible call to treason, putting us in clear and present danger without remorse, which is why I'm experiencing the sum of all fears. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's the first circus act of the evening. Yeah. Yeah. The latest damning revelation uh, is about Trump's son-in-law and National Dimple Reserve, Jared Kushner. <laughs> we already knew he met with Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak. But yesterday, the White House acknowledged a previously undisclosed meeting between Kushner and the chief of Russia's government-owned Vneshekonombank. If you can pronounce that correctly, the FBI would like to talk to you. <laughs> because Americans can't do business with this bank, okay? We're not supposed to actually do any business with the Vneshekonombank Bank because it has a very close relationship with Vladimir Putin. In fact, it's so close that if you open up a checking account for $100 or more, you get a free toaster and a dead journalist. <laughs> and... I wouldn't recommend it. I'm not saying I'm not recommending it. I'm just saying it's free. It's hard to say no. <laughs> and it looks like the pressure of these Russian rumors are getting to the administration. Case in point, uh, is this today? Today, Sean Spicer at the uh, Spicy Time. I've said it from the day that I got here until whatever that, that there is no connection. You've got Russia. If the president puts Russian salad dressing on his salad tonight, somehow that's a Russian connection. Wait a second. <laughs> the president put Russian dressing on his salad tonight? Oh. That's huge news. Trump ate a salad? <laughs> I don't, I've never seen that. I've never seen that. I've never seen it. There's no, there's no evidence think that of that. Is on that's Where's cool. the evidence? I see no evidence that it, the only time he ever eats green is when he eats $100 bills in front of Mark Cuban. And Russia rumors must be getting to Trump, too, because last night he tweeted, why isn't the House Intelligence Committee looking into the bill and Hillary deal that allowed big uranium to go to Russia, Russian speech, money to bill, <laughs> the Hillary Russian reset, praise of Russia by Hillary or pedestrian Russian company, Trump Russia story is a hoax, hashtag MAGA! <laughs> Yeah. Why isn't somebody why isn't somebody investigating any of that? Why isn't somebody investigating all that? Because remember, remember. Trump knows that if Congress finds something on Hillary, she might have to resign from not being president. <laughs> and check out uh, the timing on those two tweets. Okay, he's not the first one at 9:26 last night. And then he completed the sentence 9 minutes later. <laughs> Okay, that second tweet was 23 wow. words. That means wow. he types two and a half words a minute. <laughs> He's got really slow thumbs uh -huh. Uh -huh. or a very talented penis. <laughs> oh, oh. You want, obviously, those letters are oh. really small. You want something tiny to be able to type it out with. Hey. All in fun. <laughs> but what's the truth? Was there nefarious collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia? Or is this all just being blown out of proportion by the liberal media over at the New York Times and the FBI? <laughs> Who knows? Um, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe we'll find out from the House Intelligence Committee, led by Intel chairman and car salesman who really needs you to help him out here. 
Devin Nunes. Okay, but Nunes, this guy may not be the guy to investigate Russia and the Trump campaign because Nunes advised the Trump campaign and was on Trump's transition team. That's like saying to Luke Skywalker, we got a great new advisor for the Rebel Alliance. His name is Darth. Darth, come on in here for a second. <laughs> Darth knows all about the Death Star. Now, is there someone got a hole about the size of a womp rat we could fire in here? He's your dad, by the way. We'll get into that later. <laughs> but I can't tell if we're going to learn anything from Nunes. He doesn't seem all that focused on Russia. Because he spent a lot of time trying to validate Trump accusing Obama of wiretapping him a couple weeks ago. And just last week, Nunes held a surprise news conference. I recently confirmed that on numerous occasions, the intelligence community incidentally collected information about U.S. citizens involved in the Trump transition. So, intelligence agencies did collect info on the Trump team, but it was incidental when they were listening to foreign agents that the Trump team was talking to, but Nunes says this information has nothing to do with Russia, but we have to take his word for it because he won't show it to anybody or reveal his source ever, not even to members of his own committee. The only person he has briefed on the subject is Donald Trump. Oh, that is brilliant detective work. You gather all the evidence you can on the prime suspect, and then you share it with him. It's all part of CBS's new show, CSI Washington, No Investigation. I don't... I don't know... I don't really understand. I don't understand this cat. He's a slow talker. He talks really slowly. And I don't know whether that's from, a, like, an abundance of caution, because he's on the Intelligence Committee, or because he just doesn't know what to say. I'm starting to think we should not mistake his long pauses for thought. Wow. Then yesterday, there was new Nunes news. Because it turns out the information he gave to Donald Trump, he got from meeting with an intelligence source on the White House grounds. So he went to the White House to tell Trump what he had learned from the White House. But Nunes insists there's nothing sinister about any of these trips to the White House grounds. And look, if it was, if I, if I really wanted to, I could have snuck onto the grounds late at night and probably nobody would have seen me. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> I'm Devin Nunes, congressional ninja! <laughs> How do you do that? How do you sneak onto the White House grounds? If that, is that really something we should be telling people you can do? <laughs> is that a secret he just gave away? Or is it just that it's very hard to see you sneak onto the White House grounds when the Secret Service is kneeling on your neck? <laughs> so this leaves the question of what Nunes found out and who leaked it to him. And to get to the bottom of that, we're going to need the Late Show's Figure It out Atron. Bring it out, boys! Bring it out the Figure It out Atron. Here we go. <laughs> Right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. You guys know the Figure It Out Atron. Figure It Out Atron is the highest technology available here at the Late Show. Here's how it works it works off photonic energy. When light hits it, it reflects off and goes into your eyes. That's how it works. <laughs> now, as you can see on the Figure It Out Atron, here at the center, we have a photorealistic portrait of Devin Nunes, okay? <laughs> now, Congressman Nunes can't reveal what he learned because he's got split loyalties, okay? On this hand, okay, he is on the Intel Committee, all right? But on the other hand, he was on Trump's transition team. And down here, he's splitting his focus between investigating the Trump tweets accusing Obama of wiretapping but also leading the investigation into Russia colluding with the Trump team, okay? Meanwhile, he is going to the White House to tell Trump what he's learned from the White House. He's at the White House a lot. I will indicate the White House by this W right here. He is up in the White House. He's so far up in the White House, you can't even see his head. Okay, obviously, he's there talking to Trump. He's there talking to Trump. And Trump's associates. <laughs> He's talking to Trump's associates. Associates. I'm writing associates really small because I don't want to waste chalk here. <laughs> and he is so far up here talking, up into Trump's associates. 
that he can't tell us. I'm just saying, he's, he's really in Trump's inner circle. <laughs> and no matter where this investigation leads, no matter what we find out, one thing is true. Nunez is not coming out of this smelling like a rose. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight.